A 1 centimeter high object is placed 3.05 centimeters to the left of a converging lens of focal length 7.05 centimeters. A diverging lens of focal length negative 16 centimeters is 6 centimeters to the right of the converging lens. Find the position and height of the final image. So here's what we have. We have an object that is one centimeter high. My arrow is one centimeter high. And then I have a lens that it's sitting in front of. And I want to actually move my lens to where it's about center. Uh, just because that's that looks better to me. And then a little bit further over I have a second lens. And I want to figure some stuff out about these uh, this lens system. First of all, the first one is converging. And the second one is diverging. A converging lens means that it bends light towards the center. So if there's light coming straight in, it bends it towards the center. If light is coming straight up, it might not bend it towards the s downward, but it'll bend it so that it's going more towards the center than it was. A diverging lens, on the other hand, bends light away from the center. And so if light's coming straight in, it might go down the center, but it is actually trying to bend it so that it would be away from the center. So the first thing we need to do is set up some variables. So we have right here a distance P1, and then we have a distance from here to here of uh, D1, uh, we'll say D, the distance D. And then we, we don't, so here's what's going to happen. We have light that's going to come in, and it's going to converge and then it's going to hit this object and it's going to diverge some so let me just try to draw um the best i think i can so let's say that the the light starts here at the base and it comes up hits this it gets diverged in comes over here and hits this and then it gets uh diver or it gets converged in and it gets diverged out and so then if the same light from the same point comes here it hits this it gets converged in it comes over here and then it gets diverged outward and I don't know where they're going to cross let's say that the the light beams I I should have drawn it crossing let's say that they cross um, use my gray lines instead so let's say that this is Q this is Q1 so I'm going to go ahead and draw in a uh, variable Q1 this is Q1 and so from that variable, from right here, this would be where my second image begins. The object, we'll call this P2. Q1 is P2, so P2 would be from here to here. So this is P2. And so let's define P2 and Q1 in terms of each other. So we can say that, that P2 is equal to D minus Q1. So in other words, I'm saying if I travel the length D, and I subtracted off Q1, this would be my length P, P2. So now I have a few variables defined. I'm going to try to move this up out of the way, and we're going to work through some lens equations. So 1 over P2. We're trying to find the position and height of the final image. So we're trying to find Q2, and then try to find its height. So 1 over P2 plus 1 over Q2 is equal to 1 over F2. And now, this time we do have to be specific about what f2 is because the focal length of lens 1 and the focal length of lens 2 are different. So I'm going to isolate my term, q2, and uh, so I'll get 1 over q2 is equal to 1 over f2 minus 1 over p2. And remember, I have to define p2 in terms of of uh, of the distance in Q1. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute that in right there that uh, P2 is equal to D minus Q1. So 1 over Q2 is equal to 1 over F2 minus 1 over D minus Q1. Now I also have to use the lens equation to solve for Q1 because it's also an unknown in the same problem. So I just exchange an unknown for another unknown and I got to solve for that. So uh, what I can end up with is Q1 is equal to P1 F1 over P1 minus F1. I basically set up the lens equation and solved it all in one step. Uh, please don't try to do that on a test because you could mess it up. 
So now we're going to substitute this term right here, this, uh, this equation in for Q1. And, and so 1 over Q2 equals 1 over F2 minus 1 over D minus, and then our term for Q1 was P1F1 over P1 minus F1. So I'll put parentheses P1F1 over P1 minus F1. And so now all we need to do for the first part of the problem is take the inverse of both sides. And what I'm going to do is wave my hands. Q2 is equal to 1 over F2 minus 1 over D minus P1 F1 over P1 minus F1. And then take that to the negative 1 power. Make sure you have this outside of the parentheses um, or else it'll give you the wrong answer. Now the other thing is this can definitely be simplified down into one fraction or one, one numerator over one denominator. I've just chosen not to do that for the sake of the length of this video. Now the next thing is it wants to know the height of the, of the final object. And you remember magnification is equal to h prime over h. This is the height of the image formed. or the So you could use that. Um, but you know, need to know that total magnification, total magnification is equal to the magnification of the first lens times the magnification of the second lens. We know that the object starts out at one centimeter, so h is already solved. If we can find total magnification, then we can solve for the height of the new object, or rather the height of the image from that object. And so uh, m1 is equal to negative q over p, it's negative q1 over p1, and m2 is equal to negative q2 over p2. And so you can just multiply these guys together. Negative q1 over p1 times negative q2 over p2. And that should equal the total magnification. And then we can plug up back up in here. Because we, we're dividing by one centimeter, our, <laughs> it's going to divide by one, you get the same number, right? So the, the final height is going to equal the, mag the amount that it changed by magnification, the total magnification. So you figure out what the total magnification is, you drop the, the words, the letters centimeters in front of it, and that's going to be your final height. If your object didn't start at one centimeter like mine did, mine was simplified for me, then divide by that number. It's pretty simple algebra, so h, uh, h prime is going to be equal to the total magnification divided by the initial height. And there you have it. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.